inquiry one question, for example, uh, you travel a lot. But this, for example, you travel a lot. Uh, it's a fact. But uh, for example, uh, if uh, I want to open my business, but I don't know where do I want to open. And mm -hmm. could you tell me where is the most uh, maybe difficult uh, country for this? Uh -huh. Did you try this because you said that you have experience in Asian, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. also you have experience maybe in Berlin mm -hmm. and just, you know, this stuff, maybe also about you have other projects in mm -hmm. other countries, could you tell about this? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a very complex question, I would say. It's very individual. Mm -hmm. It depends on you, your character, your personality. It depends on the kind of business you want to build. Um, it depends on what you want to do. So mm -hmm. what does it mean to build a business for you? Sometimes it's about selling something, but sometimes it's only about digital cryptocurrencies, okay. right? So um, also it depends about or on your education. Mm -hmm. I would say how you were educated, were you educated with a business mindset or, or not? Also it depends on your on your mindset mm -hmm. in terms of do you want to build it in your own country or are you a very easy relator with culture, with mm -hmm. different cultures? Mm -hmm. Do you get into the administrational um, landscape of a country mm -hmm. quickly and easily? Because I think this is the biggest um, obstacle for somebody who wants to build a business in another country okay. that is not mm -hmm. your own if you don't know the language. You first have to get to understand, okay, how's the administration? Again, landscape? connections. Yes, again, connections. Yeah, most of the time it's connections. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's what my grandpa always says. You have to build connections. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, um, wow, well, I would say it depends. It's very vague. I know it's not a concrete mm -hmm. answer, but I cannot answer specifically. How many businesses do you have right now? How many businesses do I have right now? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It depends on what you, I would say two, okay. real, but this that in are Germany, working. In Germany or rest? Yes, one in Germany, one in Hong Kong. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do yeah. you have any businesses, for example, or something, projects maybe in other countries? Mm, it's not something permanent, I would say. Yes, okay. I had. Okay. It was temporary, but it's like, what do you say, it's like a project that you're working on and then you close it because it's like an ending, an ending to that project. So, yeah. When I uh, did you understand that you want to close this project, what happened? That you don't want to continue this or something? Yeah, my newest idea you meant, mm -hmm. you mean, yeah, mm -hmm. um, I didn't build a business out of it. So I was, um, thinking about it. I was going to do it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, ah, what led me to close mm -hmm. it? Personal things, I would say, um, being too focused on something that wouldn't going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know um, as well. I don't know how to answer that because sometimes it's just something that you feel and then you put an end to it. Mm -hmm. I think um, what I have seen from many entrepreneurs, and I'm challenging myself every day if I want to go on with entrepreneurship or if I maybe head into another direction. I think that's a very valid question that you should ask yourself every time you want to. You don't have to put yourself into a shelf and then be an entrepreneur for like all your life, right? Okay. It can be just a phase. But, um, but yeah, so some, something that, um, you, understand or that most of the entrepreneur or some of the entrepreneurs that I met in my life and what they did wrong is running after one idea too long and then really wanting to make it work mm -hmm. um, but actually it was never going to work or not so fast how they wanted mm -hmm. to plan and they mm -hmm. just um, calculated to last less time mm -hmm. and I think there's um, it's it's much more valuable to first cut something and put an end to it. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, yeah, it, it's brave, more like braver than to just say, oh, I'm the best entrepreneur in the world. I will do it. <laughs> yeah, <which laughs> I will be successful. No, yeah. it's not yeah. given. You are not going to, it's not always that you're going to be successful. Also it depends on how you define success, okay. what success okay. for you. And, um, yeah. So what exactly you want to build, but, but I would say this to, to, um, there's just an inner voice that says, no, 
And then you have to listen to that inner voice. Okay. Do I have any, uh, do I have special qualifications, uh, mm. for example, to become, a, a, for example, like a solid trader? Special qualifications. Mm -hmm. yes. um, it's always good to have a higher education, to be I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, about, it's not about being blessed, but it's about opening your mind and um, acquiring a certain way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many, I mean, I'm a psychologist, right? I'm not a business uh, person by training, not mm -hmm. at all. I've just like come across a certain, su some situations in my life where I really um, started to develop that side of myself okay. but I think you can be a lot of you can be a lot of roles or you can you can have a lot of roles in your life you can be a lot of versions of yourself mm -hmm. and I think it's important to give space to the versions that you want to be it's not only about being an entrepreneur maybe mm -hmm. it's just a face and then if you want to be something else you can be that it's important mm -hmm. to give space to that um, yeah and also one question you said about education. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you some questions. Do I need to have a higher education? Mm -hmm. If yes, which one? Maybe mm -hmm. it's not necessary and for me it's enough any courses. Mm -hmm. Could you tell about this? Because maybe mm -hmm. someone who wants to, for example, uh, a person who said to, to, who, who said to me, just like, I was not the best in my school. Mm -hmm. I don't want to study like at the university. But, but I want to open my business. Mm -hmm. And he did it. And mm -hmm. it's like, wow. Yeah. Could you say about this? So I have to say, I know a lot of people, business owners, that don't have any education or didn't uh, finish their higher education okay. in university, okay. but they are, they just have this, that character. They just have that kind of personality. They just build things and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't matter in which area. So you can, you can do practically everything. And it's like trying to do new things. Some, some, Weeks or months ago, I, I talked to somebody when I was like um, having in mind my tech company. I actually wanted to build a software company. <laughs> and okay. I was telling him, okay, how, how do I do it? What do I do first? Because um, he was somebody who mm -hmm. had done it before and so on. And he said, it's not about the idea. It's about failure. Mm -hmm. And it's about how to handle failure. Um, and it's about how to fail good. Okay. Oh, and I was sh so shocked by that um, answer because I was I was saying I don't want to fail because I know this idea is going to work. You know, I was so yeah, just like, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But again, back to your question, um, I know a lot of people who don't have any higher education, and they are great business owners, and they have built incredible businesses. There are so many books that you can hear, or like I yeah. don't know if you like to audio like audio books or Do read. Do you recommend something, for example? Yes. Maybe one, two books. Uh, yes, I have. Like, a if it's okay for you, I can it's send you a, a list yes. afterwards. Of course, of course add, so. Yes, there's one. I've just, like, um, gotten forwarded a very cool book. I don't remember the name right now because just you just okay. asked me right now. But I will send it later to you. Uh -huh. And it's yeah. really cool about a lot of big business owners mm -hmm. in history who just came up with ideas. Again and again and again and again and again. I, I only read one book about black woman who opened her business. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember how to call this book, but it's also like about woman stuff, about business mm -hmm. or woman, something like this. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And this, I have a lot of more motivations, mm -hmm. moments for what I saw in this. Mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. But um, right now, how I create one idea for a new business, for example, maybe, <laughs> yes, maybe you will open, maybe in the future, you will open um, as a company where, for example, people who want to create the idea come mm -hmm. to you and say, okay, what do I need to do? I have mm -hmm. money, I have an idea, but I don't know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. And you will have the process, maybe, I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, there are companies already yes. existing, yeah, yeah, in Berlin, there are a lot of, like, they call themselves agencies, right, who, mm -hmm. like, um, help, help mm -hmm. you, yes. Um, also in other countries, like in Hong Kong, for instance, HK Invest, for instance, is one yeah. of the companies that help you to create your business. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you were asking something about else. Books. Mm -hmm. about, um, books. about books. About books, I will send you the list. Yes. And about education. So, one side is you don't need to. If you have mm -hmm. the character and if you have the drive, because it's most times about the drive and never give up. So be persistent. Never, 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 never give up. That's the... Like, the Okay. Biggest motto okay. of all, okay. I would say. Okay. But then, in a country like Germany, certifications are super important, I have seen. Um, to be a certified something something, mm -hmm. or to have studied business, actually, mm -hmm. it's completely different than somebody that has never studied anything. Yeah. It depends. Um, do you want to speak to an investor who um, really, like, is, like, for him or for her, it's important 
what kind of um, education you have, or or no, maybe you can do it out of your own okay. Okay. out of your own strength, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I would say it's never bad to have a good education. Never. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Just to understand how other people are thinking and 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 already to build your network. Mm -hmm. Because we were asking about yeah. networks. Yeah, also about companies. Could you tell me about Texas? <laughs> In <laughs> Germany? Oh, I can tell you, I can forward you a couple of people who can tell you better okay. about okay. Texas than me. Um, Germany, compared to other countries, is a terrible tax country. So there are so many crazy taxes that you have to have in mind and that you have to be super, super organized and super correct on what you like what you declare mm -hmm. and when you declare it what times you declare it mm -hmm. um so yeah you have to have the books always perfect always on time always super clean that's super important um and i mean there are as well softwares like viso they help you with the tax declaration or taxfix is a company mm -hmm. uh, used to start as a startup but is now like a bigger company it's based in berlin as well Or as well, there are companies like SumUp. I don't know if you know them. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a software. You yeah, okay. so you can do invoices and like everything yeah. with it. It's nice. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of softwares already nowadays in place that you can use to be helped with your taxes. But I was always, I would always inv uh, advise get a good um, Steuerberater. So get a good tax advisor because they oh, know okay. actually a lot about the system. Um, Yeah, I have um, very, I have the very big um, luck to have a 70 year old lady advising me on my desk. Oh. And you, yes. you have team. You have uh, just like your your partner, or you have a team. Um, yes, we have a team. Um, how, for how, how, impact though, yes, but for my own things, it's okay. just me. Wow, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Okay, could you also tell me about like we were talking about visa? Mm -hmm. For example, if I'm a tourist, mm -hmm. I cannot open yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot open this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. But I need just just like, what do I need? Like, what kind of visa? Yeah, that's. I think it's a residency visa that you need. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm not. There are companies as well that are very specialized on what kind of certain or what yeah what kind of visa okay. you need. Okay. And what kind of constellations there are that you can get mm -hmm. a certain type of visa. Again, I'm not a visa specialist at all. But I can connect you with the right people mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you want to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just guys, if you need someone, just like texting. <laughs> just like just like yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And also the last question what I want to ask you. Uh, yes. The last question what I want to ask you. Could you tell me about like like step by step what I need to do? Just like for people that, for example, they really want to create this, mm -hmm. they really want to open something. Mm -hmm. For example, the first idea, mm -hmm. like you said, uh, the second. Okay, I need to just like to create the plan. I need mm -hmm. to write. Maybe mm -hmm. also I need to find someone who will help to me. Maybe mm -hmm. my partner. Maybe I will do it by myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, next step. Uh, I just need to find investors or understand, uh, for example, about income. Mm -hmm. How can you use it? Where you can find this mm. or something like this? What next steps? Wow, um, that's very individual, I would say. Important areas to cover. Get a good legal advisor, get a good tax advisor. That might not only be a person. Sometimes it's just like that you have somebody that is really into that and wants to find mm -hmm. out. But the, it's not only, it's not It's not always about the money. So yes, if you want to build a tech company, you should have a product first and then try the product. And then this is like best of all okay. show what the product can do. Right. Um, but there's not one way. I would say there are so many ways that cre that can create good businesses or that can create good ideas. Um, and I mean, we all know those big tech giants mm -hmm. they create their ideas for years and years and years in their backyard or in their garages right and um also with impact Berry, we were <laughs> living in a four square meter room and had like the mm -hmm. bed the little sofa and our desk and then our green box which is impact Berry, actually like in the beginning right so it was like starting from zero but um Again, I think there is no step plan. Mm -hmm. You should be aware of a couple of 
things that you mm-hmm. should have to have in mind to be legally on the correct side. Because mm-hmm. I think that's the most important thing. Um, and then you should have the right people. And to find the right people, if you don't have friends that also have your idea in mind, because that was actually maybe as well my challenge now with the idea that I had about the uh, software company that I wanted to build, is that I didn't find anybody, also not from my friends or family or past or university or childhood or whatever, who had the same passion for that topic than you. And I didn't mm-hmm. want to do it alone. Because I think doing alone things doing doing things alone is not so fun than doing them together with somebody. So at least for me. Essential, essential. Yeah, at least for me. I mean, it can be different for different people, but not for me. Um, so again, I don't think there is a step plan to follow. I don't think there's a checklist. Uh, but yes, if you want to find founders, mm-hmm. there are lots of founder programs that you can um, attend or participate in in Berlin. Okay. Also in different other um, countries or like in the US, there are so many founder programs. Um, also in like Asia there mm-hmm. as well like there's so much support actually that you can if, if you want to you can if you have time you want to you can participate um, but again I don't think there's one plan to follow okay. if there would be the secret potion or how to say the secret water mm-hmm. that you just drink and that's the business then I think and anybody could do it right but <laughs> yeah. I think you have to find your own way I think you just need to feel and just like go to, to this. Go with the flow. Yes, yes. Yes, it's not so, I think it's not so dreamy. I think there are certain administrational steps or administrative mm-hmm. steps that you have to have covered, yes or yes. And um, legal aspects and assurance, insurance is a big part in, in Germany that you have to have covered from the beginning, I would advise. But, um, but yeah, how the idea comes up and then that the idea develops and everything is I think that's the beautiful thing about it that everyone has like a different path sometimes it just sparks so the other day I was talking with with a with a friend and we were um, we were building up a, a, an association actually to um, build tiny forests in Germany okay And um, and he said, so it's Verein. In German, we would call Verein, right? And there's like a very, not too complex, but it's like a slow process to go to certain, a certain office to get the mm-hmm. Verein registered, to explain what kind of Verein it is, what kind of association it is, what do you want to do, who's involved, blah, blah, blah. And it would be nice to have like just an application that you can click, One, two, three, that's, that's it. All. Yes. Yeah, but yes. it's not that's something this for instance doesn't exist. So everybody who's like listening to it and would like to build something like this, I would be very happy mm-hmm. to have it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. I want to say thank you so much to Sonia Dubois. Thank, thank you so you. much that you talk a lot and it's a really <laughs> cool case for everyone who wants to open something like mm-hmm. cool stuff, business. And guys, if you have any questions, just like ask below in, co- in the comments and just like we will answer to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Not that much related to entrepreneurship, but then afterwards I did a master's degree and that was really, <laughs> that was a car. <laughs>